What is happening, everybody? This is Cody, a.k.a. DFS Prodigy. Coming to you live, breaking down this upcoming DraftKings one-game slate Boston at Miami. Before we begin, hit like button for me. Definitely subscribe to YouTube channel. It's a ton of y'all know. We're here breaking down, like I said, this game two of the Eastern Conference Finals. I'm excited about this slate, so I'm at work right now, so let's go in and kick this off and begin. So let's start with Miami. On the Miami side, I'm, like I said, I'm doing this on my phone, by the way, guys because I'm at work, but like I said, on the Miami side, Jay Butler up top, I love him here. This matchup is great for him. He's going to do it all. He's going to play everything he can do on this team. I love Jimmy B. Looking at Bam out of bio, 8-4. He's in play. The matchup isn't really in his favor right now, so I'm kind of leaning away from him as an option, but I don't mind him at 8-4. Tyler Hero, 6-8. I like what I saw out of him. He had a huge bump up. I do like Tyler Hero here. Max Struss, I'm not really a huge fan of at 6'4". That price tag is a little bit high still. Kyle Lowry is still out, so Victor Oladipo at 5'2". I'm much rather just drop down to P.J. Tucker at 4'6". I know the ankle was worrisome, so we just need to watch and see what happens with his leg slash ankle. Then Gabe Vincent at 4'4". He is in play. I love him as a value option. He can certainly look at. On the Boston side, though, Jason Tatum, 10'6". He's going to – him and Jalen Brown are running this team. They're doing it all. That's the thing is who do you want to pay out for? I'd rather just drop down to Jalen Brown at the 9-4 price tag is cheaper. I'd just rather go to him than Jason Tatum right now, but I don't mind either one, of course. Al Horford and Marcus Smart, that's the big news is what's happening with them too. Al Horford, I don't think he's going to play. He's highly unlikely. And then Marcus Smart, he should be playing. So I do like Marcus Smart at 7-2. He's an option in the mid-range that you can start to look at. Robert Williams, 6-2. He did it. He was amazing last game. But the price tag did go. It jumped up. So keep that in mind at 6-2. And then Derek White didn't really do much. It was more Peyton Pritchard. Peyton Pritchard was the better option than Derek White. But if you want to go to a bounce back low GPP option, you can look at Derek White because a lot of people are just going to flock to Peyton Pritchard at 4'8". And then Grant Williams, Batman, 5'4". He didn't really do much either, but he's still getting guaranteed minutes. I still like that. Like I said, Peyton Pritchard is going to be chalk on the slate. So keep that in mind. I'm Like I said, I'm much rather go to Derek White or possibly go to... Grant Williams more so. And the rest of the guys on the bottom, I'm not really a fan of. Daniel Tyson, I'm not really looking at. He saw good minutes, but I'm not really a fan of him. But this slate's going to be interesting to me. It's going to be interesting on who people pay out for in Jason Tam or Jalen Brown. I'm like I said, I'm much rather go to Jalen Brown. The Al Horford news is kind of big because we're going to get more Robert Williams and more Daniel Tice. Again, I don't mind Daniel Tice's value, but it's definitely risky. So keep that in mind. But that's what the slate for us guys, though. Thank you for tuning in. Hope it's a great and safe rest of the night. Have a good one, everybody.